yeah started recording hello friends good evening let's start in this video what we will do is we'll configure the SMS job and see how we can migrate the data from 2008 R22 to 2019 server okay for that I already logged in into the SMS server let me launch the SMS service admin center okay then I'll go to SMS server admin center gateway we scroll down and the last there is an option called storage migration service Okay, so you need to create a new job migration job one. Okay, uh, let's provide the credentials for the server which you wanted to migrate. Administrator. Okay, so next. Uh, device from Active Directory legacy file server which I need to migrate and then start scan okay, once the scanning is finished it won't take much time once the scanning is finished so you will see the properties of that particular file server done see so shares are, and the folders inside the shares everything has been discovered then click next now you need to provide the credentials for destination server let's write here. okay next and then what is the destination server name? File server. Okay, file server such. We'll see from the Active Directory and then discover. So it will also discover the properties of destination server. Okay, cool. And then from source to destination, it is trying to copy everything. So I'll try to do this. I don't want to copy the C drive. And e drive. I want to replicate only the f shares. So I'll select only the shares which I want to migrate from legacy server to new file server. Okay, and then many files are written on the destination. Okay, it's fine. Rotate it three times. Okay, cool. So let me transfer. Okay, then just validate. That will give you. See what all the warnings are showing. Not remotely. The credential has admin privileges. Okay. Okay, cool. Let me click next. Okay. And then I will see start transfer. So once the transfer is done, so probably it will start sending the data in some time let me go back to the server okay you will see first share has been created and file structure has been created refresh you will see after some time the second share will be created and the file structure will be created in order to replicate the data from legacy server to let me see legacy server to new file server let's see what's going on still running so it will take some time so this is how you transfer the data from legacy file server to new file server which is running on uh, 2019 operating system and then once the transfer is done you can plan for a cutover it will be scheduled or you can do it manually uh, by disabling the file shares on the old legacy server and then enable the shares on 2019 machine and you can replicate uh, the settings uh, or the, uh, the DNS settings and or you can configure the same onto the DFS shares in order to uh, enable the user access okay so this is how we'll transfer this is still first first share has been 
transfer so far it will take some time to bring the rest of the all the shares over here so I'll stop this video here and then once the file transfer is done probably we'll see how to do the cutover in the later session all right so we'll mark this as completed so I have successfully complete configured the SMS job and then started migrating the data from legacy server to new file server okay still taking the time probably uh, they're still discovering something yeah they're still discovering something that's fine L leave that part and then last step is how to do the cutover here are multiple ways to do the cutover uh, I'll show you uh, simply how we can enable the or uh, enable the shares on new file server and how you can disable the shares on old legacy server okay so thank you